Now as we know how the common brushes works and what are the most commonly used brushes inside the ZBrush. Now let's see some using a uh, useful brush uh, brush settings over here. How we can uh, set up our brushes and how we can change the settings over here. So like any other brush uh, like uh, applications where brushes are used, whether they are 2D or 3D, there are a variety of settings to control them. So let's uh, look at them. So we have here the standard brush here, which I have taken. And to resize this, we have here the brush size over here. Okay. And it says the shortcut is S. If I press S on my keyboard, it will give me this uh, shortcut and I can easily move it back and forth to resize it. Or I can use my um, left uh, square bracket or right square bracket to change this one. So this is how I can also uh, like change my brush like a uh, like, uh, like size over here so I can draw around my brushes or oh, like on my object and you can see the size over here apart from that uh, we have here um, intensity now what does the intensity do this is the strength of the sculpt uh, like uh, like sculpturing inside the ZBrush right now it is 25 so if I will draw with the 25 it will sculpt in uh, with this strength if I will increase it to maybe 100 and if I will draw you can see how the drawing is that is too strong okay it's left it's lifting the surface more aggressively if i will reduce it to maybe 10 or 7 so you can see hardly the changes there okay so if i will try to change something here apply so you will hardly notice something is changing because the intensity is too low so i have to keep on drawing here and then you can see that there is some changes appearing over here okay so that's how the intensity works over here. Now, apart from this, we have here focal shift. Now, let me increase the intensity to something around 33. Okay. So, and make it a little smaller. Here we have the focal shift. Now, what is the focal shift? Just notice your brush here. It have inner circle and it have outer circle. So the outer circle is basically the fall off of the brush, which is basically uh, affects the outer areas softly. Then we have the inner brush, the inner circle. The inner cir circle will create sharp effect. The outer circle will uh, is a fall off, which will, which will create a soft effect. And in the inner circle is the main area, which will create a sharper uh, result. So if I will draw, so whatever is inside the inner area is more affected and the outer area is less affected. So if I will go here, just notice how my focus shifted right now. If I will go, the shortcut is O on my keyboard. So if I will press O on my keyboard here, I will get the focus shift. If I will change the size of the focal shift, you can see that the inner area and the outer area is affected. So if I will increase this, you can see almost there is no outer circle anymore. Now, if I will draw it, you can see that there is no fall off on the edges. It's all sharp. And if I press O and reduce it completely to a very less value and start drawing, so you can see that the edges are more softly affected. Okay, so it's totally up to you how you want to uh, paint over your object. Okay. So either you want it to be uh, sharper or you want it to be softer on the edges. So it's totally up to you how you want to uh, work. Now in our first few classes, we have already studied about this brushes uh, styles over here, which gives you different styles of brushes, the way it creates the stroke. Okay. And this is how it actually works. Now, one more thing here is that let me undo the whole thing. Okay, go back to normal and I will take my uh, clay brush tool, okay, which is BCL. And if I will uh, start uh, let, uh, drawing something over here, okay, and you will notice that if I look back, it will affect my 
ear here. Can you see that? The back side of my ear. Let me undo it and then redo it. Okay. So you can see that before it was like this, but when I started drawing on this part, okay, it, well, when I draw something like this, what it did, it affected the back side of my ear. Now, how I can avoid this one? To avoid this, let me undo this one, okay, and let's go to the uh, brush setting here, okay. Inside the brush, we have here a back face, okay. Let's go to the back face part, which you will find in the auto masking. If I will go to the auto masking, okay. And if I will open it up, you will see that there are different options over here. So there is one back face mask, auto mask. So if I will turn on the back face auto mask here, and what it will do is that if I will do any changes on the front area, just like this one, and if you will see at the back, nothing changes. Okay. So as much aggressively I will draw anything over here it will not affect the back side of my mask over here of my uh, object part over here but let me undo again if this uh, auto masking inside the brush settings inside the auto masking this back face is not on if i will draw here and if you will go back you can see that it is affected so it's always better to keep it on but sometimes you don't want it, so you can turn it off. So I will go back to the brush, auto masking, and turn on my back face mask here. Okay, so it will uh, avoid these kind of errors uh, if I will uh, work on it in the near future. Now, let me take my uh, damn brush tool here, which is DDS. Okay, so I will press D, uh, DS. Okay. Oops. DDS, and I have to stamp. Uh, brush tool now if I draw something over here okay suppose I want to draw nicely on my screen following over here so I cannot do that because you can see my hand is kind of shaking so you can see how my hand got moved here and here so it's almost practically impossible to create some a uh, smooth curve inside the Z brush so if you if you are using our uh, own like you know hand so to create very precise brush soak it's not possible as your hand might shake so there is a tool over here which is known as the lazy brush tool so lazy brush will avoid that to activate lazy brush tool or to control the lazy brush tool you have to go to the stroke option and here is the lazy brush lazy mouse okay so if you click on the lazy mouse you will see that it's already turned on but the settings are quite low so right now my lazy radius over here which is actually the smoothness i will increase it from 1 to maybe 10 and press enter now if i will start drawing on my screen over here so you can see there is a guideline appearing and it is creating a smooth effect here okay without even if my hands shakes it's making a smooth result over here if i want it to be more smoother if i want to convert it to more smooth strokes if i want my strokes to be more smoother i can go to stroke increase this uh, 10 to maybe higher value maybe 50 and if i will start drawing you can see that that guideline is now much more longer and it is creating a more smoother result okay so this is the lazy mouse will help you. The lazy stroke will create a nice smooth effects for you. Okay. So that's a, a good thing about this lazy uh, like mouse tool uh, will help you. So it creates guideline that helps you precisely place that uh, that curve. So larger the value you will uh, you will have about the radius, the more precise is the result. So uh, actually, what you, what you do is that when you create uh like a curve it creates the copy of that curve next to each other which is known as the steps so if i will go back to my stroke here and lazy mouse you will see there is a lazy step if i will increase the lazy step 
from 0 0.05 to something higher and start drawing so you can see that it is creating steps over here okay it's too high let me go back and change it to something like this and start drawing so you can see that it is creating a steps it's not creating a stroke dot dots 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 like in number of steps okay smoother but they are now steps which is good if you are creating some pores on your screen or like on your model face or something like that okay but for my case it's not that good okay so i will turn it back to what it was before so i can go back here i can go to the lazy uh, like you know uh steps here and i can change to 0 0.5 okay and now if i will draw it, it will draw smoothly as it is okay so uh this is what the lazy uh steps do it creates the a kind of a uh, like a steps for you so i hope you have understood of the basics of this uh, Z, uh this lazy uh mouse tool and then later on uh in other future classes we will learn more about the lazy uh mouse tool more details about the lazy mouse tool thanks a lot everyone for joining my course and following up with me and if you have not subscribed to my channel so please subscribe to my channel also click on the bell icon so you can get the daily notifications and i will really appreciate if you will watch all my videos online without downloading them because i need all those watch time hours please just support me uh, keep on sharing my videos with your friends ask them also to subscribe because i will be coming up with a lot of new great tutorials and full courses also don't forget to watch my online live streams and uh, watch the introductory video of the live stream you can also click on this icon on the top right corner where you can find my live stream introductory video where i have explained about all my uh, schedule or uh, that i'm will be working uh, on my live streams basically okay guys so take care and see you in the next topic or in the next chapter so by the time take care and keep subscribing keep watching and keep zebra